Okay. Now, you've sewn your seam. You laid it open. You're like, wow, this is really cute. And I'm like, I know. One of the things, this is totally optional, but I really enjoy doing it. This is a trick I got from Judith Hill, Spirit Cloth on Instagram. I call it the dimple stitch. I don't know what she calls it, but it's a great optional decorative stitch, although... Although it does serve the function of getting your seam to lay flat, which can be really helpful if you're um, in a place with no iron or you just like a, the look of a cute little dimple. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like and then I'll show you how I did it. Okay, you can see that this dimple stitch is helping my piece lay flat. Look at how beautifully flat this part of the seam is compared to how kind of flouncy this is. And to make this dimple stitch, tiny stitches on top, but look what it looks like when I flip it over. This, these long stitches, these are the back of the dimple stitch, right? So when you're sewing it, you just take a tiny little bite on top, then pass your needle a long distance underneath. You see that? Tiny bite on top, pass your needle a long distance on the bottom, and pull it through. And now you have a dimple stitch and your seam lays so nice and flat. Again, decorative, semi, lightly functional, optional, but man, do I love it. You do, okay. And when you get to the end, um, I usually don't even knot these off. I guess you could do like one single back stitch just, you know, for a, a moderate sense of security. But what's going to happen is... When you go to sew this together, this seems already secure because of everything you did with your running stitch, right? It's secure. This is gonna get caught up in your next seam on either side. You know, that quarter of an inch is gonna get eaten up eventually into another seam, so it'll get secure in the end. But if you wanna do a little back stitch at the end of your dimple, I ain't got no problem with that. 